we learn new things. And sometimes I learn new things, and then sometimes in the future, I need to do that new thing again and I forgot. So this is a video for future me. Future me is gonna say, how do I make animated graphs in vPython, GlowScript, and I don't remember, so I'll Google it and I'll find this video and then I'll show myself how to do it. It's great. Now maybe it's useful for you too. Okay, so I assume you already know how to make a graph, but let's just start with, this is graph something. So I'm gonna say T graph, you know, I like to do this T. I don't even know if you have to do this, but T graph um, equals a graph object and I can give it an X title equals X. Let's just call it X versus F of X. Y title equals, and this is also where you would do um, F of X, where you would put, you know, like the size of the graph, if you want to use plotly or not, whatever. Uh, now I need a function, so F1 equals G curve, uh, color equals color dot blue. Um, now I need to, I'm gonna just plot F of X. So I can say X equals negative three, DX equals 0 0.01. Um, and then I'm gonna say while X is less than three, uh, so my f of x is just going to be equal to 3 times x cubed minus 3. I just totally made that up. Okay, and then I need to say x equals x plus dx. Uh, one of the things that I always question myself is whether I should update x or plot it first. I think I should probably plot it first. So I should then plot f1.plot, the x value, and fx. And I think that will be it. Let's say animated graph for future ret because I'm going to forget. And save it. And run it. Okay. Everyone's happy. Okay. Now, what if I want to... Well, here's the first way to animate this. This is really easy. If I want to just show how the graph is drawn, I could say uh, rate 100. And this will... Let's just put that. So this will say, don't do more than 100 calculations every second. And there. And and the way Trinket does this is, you don't see the whole graph, there you go. Okay, that's not that cool. Okay, I actually bumped this up to 300 because I want it to finish. Okay, it finished. Let's do 200. Okay, now, what if I want to show how this graph changes as I change this parameter right here? So if I do that to 2, what's different about the graph? Okay, and again, it, it draws something different. But I want to show the evolution of the graph. That's my, my, my game here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First of all, there is a parent, and, and let me point this out. This is, I, everything I learned about graphs, animated graphs, I learned from Bruce Sherwood. See, this is his, his program on glowscript.org. You can find this as an, as an example. Uh, I use this as my example because I don't really know what I'm doing, so I just do whatever Bruce does because Bruce Sherwood, if you don't know him, he is awesome. Okay, so let's go back over here. I'm just letting you know where that, that came from. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is to, uh, I need to actually do two loops. One loop makes this graph, and another one changes that parameter and then remakes the graph. Okay, so let's go and write, the, I guess I'm jumping ahead here, but I'm going to say A equals 1, DA equals 0 0.01, and then I can have my function here that I'm going to change. Now, there's something else that I need to do. So apparently, I can make a, a list called, uh, actually, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put in here, um, no, I'm going to leave that right, right there. I'm going to put it right after this. I'm going to say data equals blank. So this is a list or array. I can't remember which one it's called. But if if I put my, all my values that I want in there, I can use that to plot the graph. So I can change this list and then uh, plot it and then change it again and then replot it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And again, not 100% sure what I'm doing here, but this does work. Okay. So what I'm going to do is start off with x equals negative 3, and then I'm going to plot make, make the data. So I'm going to say while x less than 3, see, i got to reset x. i got to reset the data. And I'm going to do my same thing down here. I'm not going to plot it though, which I don't, let's get rid of this line. And I'm going to uh, add that to the data. So I'm going to say 
the data list is equal to the data list. And you could do this other ways too, but I like doing it this way. Now I need to add the X and Y value as a, as a mini list, because that's what it expects. So I'm going to say the X value is going to be X, the Y value is going to be F of X, which I call FX. And then I'm going to add X equals X plus DX. And then I'm going to do what? Okay, I got that. Uh, that's it. Now I, I've made the graph. So now instead of plotting it, instead of this, I'm going to instead do f.data equals data. So this makes the graph right there. Instead of doing f1.plot, which makes one single data point, I'm going to make the whole thing at the same time. Next, I'm going to, instead of increasing x, I'm going to increase a. a equals a plus, plus da. And this is going to be up here. This loop is while a is less than 3. I think I got it right. Okay, so this loop in here makes the graph. And then I change, and then I plot it, and then I change the parameter A, and then I go back and redo the whole thing. So we should be able to see this graph change in time. And I think it's gonna work. Save, run. Please work. Check that out. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So, I mean, I didn't really change it too much. I could change it even more. Let's go from uh, A is negative two. Let's just see what happens there. Now, the, the graph is rescaling, and that makes it look a little bit weird, but come on. That's pretty awesome, right? Okay, let's make another graph. Uh, so, because this is something else that I like to really do, um, and I'll do an example of this in a little bit. So I'm going to copy this because I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. So this is uh, animated dot for future ret. And I'm not going to animate the graph. I want to make a dot that moves along the graph. Uh, and I did this in a recent blog post, and I don't want to forget how to do it. And I've already forgotten. So uh, let's just use the same function. Um, let's do this part right here. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to graph um, this. Um, let's just do, I don't really need the data part right there, so let's get that rid of that. Let's just do f1.plot, um, dot plot, normal graph, x, f of x, fx, and technically, like I said, this should technically be up here. Oops. It should be right up here. F1.plot x fx. And then I don't need this. I'm just going to use x equal that. Okay, I think that should work. Normal graph. Normal graph. Now I want to animate a dot moving along the function here. So let's make a new graph. I'll call it fp for point, And it's a g dot and the color is red. And I'm going to put the size, I think I need the size at 10, but we can change that. Um, and then again, I'm going to put the data equals nothing. And then down here, I'm going to go back over. Uh, let's go make a temporary x. xt equals negative uh, 3. I don't know if I need to do this. Uh, dx is 0 0.01. I think I'm okay with that. And then while x less than 3, rate 100. Now I'm going to plot that data point. So um, let's say data equals uh, x fx. And then fp dot data equals data. And then x equals, or xt, actually this should be xt, xt equals xt plus dx. Let's see if that, what that does. I, I feel like this isn't going to work. I feel like I messed something up here. See? g dot is not defined. Oh! G dot. G dot is not defined. G dots? Is that the name of the function? That makes a graph that leaves dots. 
Hmm. Okay, I'm cheating. I'm looking back and see because I've already forgotten. See how see how poor of a memory Future Red has. Um, last updated. What did I do? FP equals G dots. P. Data equals. Oh, I just did it this way. Okay, that's why I did, did it this way. XT. FX. I'm not sure why this works. Oh, because I only have one data point. I think. No, that didn't work. Data equals that. Rate 100. While X is less than 3. Data. F2.plot. What the heck? Okay, data to FP dot data equals data. Well, let's just do F. Let's do, what if I do this? FP dot plot XT FX. Let's just see what happens. Nothing's happening. See, so I think I did something. Let's print X at Oh, I never calculated fx. You dummy. Okay, fx equals uh, a times xt cubed minus 3. That's why. I'm so stupid. Oh, I need to put that in front of this. Okay. And let's go back over here to fp.data equals data. It's going to work now. No. Didn't work. It didn't get an error either. Let's print data. Not even printing data. Why, oh, while XT is less than three. Ugh. If it's not one thing, it's the other, right? There we go. Check that out. Isn't that super awesome? Okay. Woo! Finally did it. Okay. I will include the link to both of these future rep programs for future rep because future rep needs this program. You can see how soon future rep forgets things. And this is how to make animated graphs. And I'm going to make an animated graph that's going to be cool. I don't know when though. I'll talk to you guys later. Cool, cool, cool.